I did not expect this to happen. So, apparently David Van was called to resign by the opposition leader, Peter Dutton. And honestly, this has just escalated very quickly. So, new evidence apparently came to light that David Van has actually sexually assaulted three female senators. We already know that the first one that came forwards, rather ab abruptly, being Lydia Thorpe. Except, there are another two senators that came forward to confirm these allegations, making the whole thing a shit show. The second senator's name was Amanda Stoker, and the third woman the mainstream media does not even know about yet. But what do I know? What I do know is that he has denied the third sexual misconduct claim. If it turns out that all of these claims are true, then it does not look good for him. Now, I'm just going to say that I am incredibly biased in this sense, but it's not looking too good for David Van. But to bad shoes, you handsome devil you. Why are you defending a sex offender? Well, the answer to that is, I was hoping for him to be innocent. I mean, there is a negative stereotype about white males being predatory or downright misogynistic. Look, I don't normally lean into politics or left-wing political beliefs, nor am I someone on the right wing of the political spectrum. But all I want is role models for future generations of young men. And the fact that one of my country's senators has committed a federal crime is just shocking. Worse still, apparently he had done this to Amanda Stoker in November of 2020. So questions were raised as to why the Liberal Party did not act on this sooner. I mean, just take a look at this Sunrise reporting. It's embarrassing. You are supposed to be the best of us. You are supposed to be representing us. You are supposed to be running this country. And from out here, it looks like a cesspool. Sometimes issues don't become known until well after the issues occurred. And they that were known, they were, were multiple reported. Factors. Amanda Stoker reported it. it. It was very clear she did not hide this by the sound of it from what she says. Nat, Nat, I'm not going to go into the details of who said what and under what circumstances, except to say that once this became known to our leadership, Peter Dutton acted accordingly and that was entirely appropriate. You can tell that she's just trying to deflect criticism, and she is not winning this argument. Meanwhile, the reporter lady doesn't even sound all that concerned, since she's trained to talk like how all other reporters talk. But yeah, I did not expect it to escalate that quickly. Well, goddamn. I know uh, Australia, here in Australia, a lot of us tend to be idiots, but damn, this this got bad. Um, I, I don't think I want to be talking about this topic any longer. Uh, it, it could get pretty intense. Well, anyway, so you get.